Hello everybody, this is Quick Square here, and today we have at our fish farm. And, um, we don't need... There we go. Okay, we can turn this off right now. Okay, so, um, you can see that this is not the design that we had set up in the previous episode. It has an iron door, um, which is uh, what was fixed in the 1.11 um, snapshots. But, uh, we also have a note block in our inventory. And even though we're playing in, um, 1.10, uh, well, because we're playing in 1.10, uh, the fix, um, for the 1.11 stuff won't work. And essentially what it is, is the, the fix, and I will put a link to the fix in the description below. It is a thousand times better than the fix I tried to, that Exuma tried to make, for it, um, because all it is is you change the orientation of this door so that it's open by default, and then you add a note block in the back. And we can see when we place a note block down, this is where the note block would go, and then we'd change the orientation of the door. But you can see when you put the note block down that if we have our fishing rod over it, we'll just right click because uh, right-click functionality is by default set to, um, for note blocks, is set to um, make the notes come out, right? Um, but this doesn't work in <laughs> uh, the 1.10 version, which is the version we are in right now, and so I have just uh, left it as is and made this the normal uh, panda fishing farm, uh, which there will also be a link to in the description below. Um, but I have done a tiny bit of AFKing, not as much as I would like to, because the old design by Exuma, um, didn't actually work for me. The old fix by Exuma didn't actually work for me. And so, we just have a couple of little fishing rods in here, um, some other bits and bobs and stuff, and quite a, bit, quite a few fish, a reasonable amount. Um, but, uh, we have, um... Yeah, so we have now uh, fixed this so that it actually works, and that is awesome. In today's episode, we are planning on making a uh, mob drop getter. Uh, it's a mob spawner, one of those like in the sky, and the mobs all spawn inside, and then they all drop down onto a platform and get killed by fall damage, and then... Uh, we are able to collect the drops from them. Um, and it, we are going to build this, like, right here. And that will be super awesome. Actually, where am I going to build this? Because I'm not sure if I want to do it right here. Um, there are a couple of things I'm thinking of doing in this little plains biome right here. Um, and both of them are in the sky. One of them is the mob, uh, the mob farm. But, uh, the other one is that I am going to be building the iron, an Iron Titan, which is Tango Tech's, um, ultra awesome iron farm. But, um, anyway, and I'm thinking that we're either going to have, I, th I think that we're just going to put the Iron Titan over this big spot right here and put our mob farm over this smaller spot over here. And then we can pipe all of the iron from the Iron Titan to um, to a nicer to pick up location. That sounds good to me. Okay, so we are going to be building it right here. Um, and it is going to be awesome and big and all that. So, I have started on the first layer of the platform. We might add multiple layers to this. Um, but uh, I'm just going to let you know kind of what my thought is and stuff. And so uh, we have this 5x5 five five hole in the middle, which is where they're going to fall down. And this should line up exactly with that. We are 30 blocks up in the air. And my thought for this farm is that we are going to have some sort of a wall. And there are going to be snow golems shooting snowballs out from all around on the sides. And eventually we might want to replace this cobblestone with uh, packed ice, and so the snow golems will then hit the mobs down into uh, the center right here, which will then um, knock them down and they will fall and die and we'll be able to pick up their drops down there. Um, 
but uh, we need to try and make sure that the mobs won't, the the snow golems won't get shot, and so we're gonna need to place some uh, slab and some other stuff in the way to help make sure that they help provide sort of a guard so that they don't get shot as much. And uh, but yeah, uh, this will be kind of in a circle-ish formation, and um, yeah it should go super well and so I'm going to let you know when I'm ready to start on the next part So I decided that I did actually want some packed ice in that mob farm to help it work. And so we are going to mine up some of this packed ice. Um, how did I get here? There's this uh, website called Mine Atlas that maps out uh, whatever seed you have in traditional vanilla Minecraft. Um, and so... I just went on there and looked for an ice spikes biome and found one and just tunneled to it in the nether. So here I am. Oh boy. Strays are after me. I have slowness. Woo! And I gotta get back to nether. So I won't get completely mobbed by strays. Mm hmm Awesome. So here we are with our little castle-ish thing. Um, castle-looking thing. Uh, we have the packed ice in place. Um, we might... There, There is a possibility that we will need to move this up in order to get the um, snow golems to hit the thing, hit the mobs better. Um, but... We'll keep the snow golems in their same place, but we would move the floor here up a level is um, what I'm saying would be a possibility. But um, for now, what we are going to do is put these snow golems in place, um, and we can see, okay, awesome, he is living, which is a good sign. And so after we put all these guys in place... Um, we can then just cover their heads so that they don't, um, I don't know, to help uh, prevent them from being seen by the mobs. And when there is a mob, hopefully uh, what will happen is that the snow golems will see them and shoot them with snowballs until they fall off the edge. So, yeah, we're going to put snow golems all around this thing, and, um, and hopefully it will work. Who needs pumpkins on their snow golems anyway? No, no, no one needs pumpkins on their snow golems. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, here we are in our little uh, thing right here and we have all of our derpy headed snow golems uh, all around here and what we are going to do is um, not fall down but um, hopefully this thing should be up and running now and oh new no. okay I know how to do this There we go. That's how it's done. Okay. This thing should be up and running now, um, for the most part, but we are going to add two more layers to it so that it has three layers in total. Um, but for now, we are going to sleep before we finish this thing up.
Now that we have our second row of derpy-faced snow golems, we are set to build our third. It is raining right now, which means that we can check to see if our hole up there lines up with our platform down here. And we can see that the particles are appearing on the cobblestone things, which means that that is correct, that is our platform. Um, and we can see that there is no rain, par are no rain particles appearing on the grass, which means that yes, everything lines up. Woohoo! Mm hmm. This could be coincidental. And a skeleton could have just wandered down here. Or it could be signs of our farm working. I don't know. And we now have all of the heads on our snow golems, so we can uh, start to begin work on the roof of the uh, farm here. And once the roof is on, the mobs will start to spawn, and we will start to get drops down all the way down there. Oh yeah! The roof is now almost entirely finished. All we have is this last little bit to finish up, but... The snow golems are all in there, and we are about to finish up this entire project. We are putting slabs on the top of our roof to prevent spawnings on top of it during night, um, because mobs cannot spawn on slabs, which is good for us. Um, let's see, what else are we doing uh, to help make this uh, better? Um... I don't know, that's uh, about it. We're using packed ice so that the mobs will slip off into the center instead of just staying um, on top in their little area. Uh, we're still going to slab up this area right around the outside, but we won't do that on camera. Um, we will do that after the fact. But for now, we are going to head down here and take a look up into our farm and hope that uh, eventually some mobs start falling down towards us. Oh, there we go. There's some stuff. It works. Oh yeah, it totally works. Even the spiders are falling down. That's what we're after. The other thing I want to do in today's episode is fix up this slime farm because uh, the torches on the floor actually make it so that the slimes don't spawn as much because uh, that's one space where the mobs won't the slimes won't spawn on um, they could spawn like in this area right here but uh, the torches make it so that there's significantly less spaces that the slimes could spawn on because they're all over the place and so what we are going to do is clean this area up at least the floor and I am going to, uh, what I'm thinking of doing is having three blocks, uh, the polished andesite, the regular andesite, and the dark oak, and I am going to randomly put them in in the floor here, um, and to do that I am going to use a random number generator, because I can't do random blocks, I always pick up patterns and other stuff like that, anyway. So I'm going to randomly put these in, these blocks in, see how they look, see if something needs changing, and um, and we will uh, go from there. So the process of cleaning up the slime farm has begun, and we have the floor done. Um, we're not going to clean it all up in this episode, but eventually we want to have some walls and ceiling and stuff like that. And the idea with this room is that we'll have glass coming along the edge right here. And we will be able to uh, come down a little staircase right here and open the door. And this will be our only access into the slime farm, is that door right there. Um, and we have gotten an absolute ton of slime balls. Not even, uh, that was even from before uh, we had this uh, new floor in. And this uh, has because we're using jack-o'-lanterns um, the slimes actually now have more spawn space than they did when we had torches everywhere and so what I've done is I've randomly placed in all of our different blocks and it actually I'm really liking that um, how it is working out but um, 
that is all I have time for today, and we have four slime balls in there already. Um, but I have some chests to clean up and some other stuff to get to. Um, anyway, but we are going to get to today's statistic spotlight. Action shot. Oh yeah. And today's statistic spotlight is a pig one centimeter. And I chose this one not because we necessarily did anything with it in today's episode, but because it was a funny thing that I saw, and it looked funny. <laughs> I have pigged um, 346 meters. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you in the next one. As always, the CSV for these statistics as of the end of this episode are available in the description below. And if you li like the episode, please be sure to leave a like. It really helps and uh, helps support the channel. Um, anyway, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.